Here's how to paint a sunset with acrylic paints like Jed Dorsey. It can be super difficult to figure out how he does it. It seems like it just goes from a blank canvas to a masterpiece that fast. But I'm going to break it down and make it much more approachable and easy to understand how he gets there. He'll be painting this beautiful scene from Nova Scotia. Like all of his paintings, he does it in about four or five defined steps. Draw, block in, refine, and finish. During the draw phase, Jed really only loosely draws in these two land masses, the dock and the boat. Jed uses a purplish red color that's only slightly brighter than the background. Here's what Jed's painting looks like at the end of the draw phase. During the blocking phase, Jed blocks in the water, some of the dock, and these rocks back here. You'll notice that he's kind of painting the average value of the colors. At this stage, he's not painting the exact values of the painting, he's kind of putting the building blocks down for the rest of the painting. If we turn both the reference photo and Jed's painting black and white at this stage, we can see that Jed's painting is much more subdued than the reference photo. The values don't quite match up yet. Next we head on to the refine phase. In the refine phase, Jed adds the water in the background and starts adding more highlights to the rest of the painting. You'll notice how he constantly will loosely lay down a mid color then come back over it with highlights and details afterwards. He finishes the landmass in the background and also adds in a rough coat for the sky. The first thing he does here, and he spends a good chunk of time doing this, is he adds some highlights to the water. Now keep in mind, this isn't even the brightest the water will get. He's going to come back and add even more highlights later. It's a slow build up till all the values come together and match the reference photo. Then he starts bringing in the water in the background. And you can see here he did the same thing, he laid down the base coat then came back and added some more highlights. We don't have video of this, but at the very end he adds some more highlights to the water in the back, he adds the landmass in the back, and he also lays down a very loose kind of dry brush coat for the sky. If we compare the values once again, we can see that we're much closer to the values of the reference photo. The final step, the finish step, is my favorite. He comes in and he adds highlights to everything. The water in the front, the water in the back, he smooths out the sky, he adds highlights to the rocks. This is where the painting really comes together. If we compare the values one last time, we can see that they're almost a perfect match. Great job, Jed. I think the big takeaway from this painting is to realize how many layers Jed uses to get to the final result. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, be sure to like and subscribe. Let us know if you want to see more, and we will see you next time.